And thanks for waking up with us here on WJCL 22 morning news time now is 613. Let's look at the wind gusts that are going on right now across the area. Seeing winds gusting into the low mid 20s uh, right there from Tybee to Hilton. Net. also Buford is seeing a wind gust uh, currently at 32 miles per hour. So uh, they're just shy of those tropical storm gusts, which is at 39 miles per hour. Even inland areas, Vidalia, Baxley, Waycross seeing winds gusting uh, 17 and 20 miles per hour. But the strongest of the winds are just offshore and some of those tropical storm gusts may brush up along the coast as we go through the morning and early afternoon. The rain from overnight. Well, it's looking like all of it is just about gone. A few sprinkles around Savannah also there into the parts of the low country, but the heaviest of the rain is definitely offshore. You can see where the center of Milton is just off to the east of uh, Kennedy Space Center is moving off to the north and northeast. It'll uh, race throughout the daytime today, pulling away from the southeast coast. Notice this too: the back edge of the clouds is already nearing Vidalia. Also, Metter down toward of Vidal Vidalia, also Hazelhurst, and uh, this will quickly move through a lot of dry air behind Milton, and we'll see sunshine. I think by mid morning, a lot of us will see mostly sunny skies, so things will improve very quickly as we go throughout the morning. Northeast movement right now from Milton at 18 miles per hour. It's winds of 85. A category one, it is now out over the Atlantic, moving north of the Bahamas throughout the day, and then quickly moving eastward uh, throughout the end of this week. Also for the weekend, notice by Friday too, uh, still a strong uh, system, but it'll be a non tropical then uh, by this time tomorrow morning. Let's look at future casts showing you right along the coast. There's those showers uh, right around 630, 7 o'clock just before sunrise. But notice after sunrise, all the rain moves out. And look at this future cast clears us up very quickly by 9, 10 o'clock. A lot of us will see mostly sunny skies with just a few patchy clouds as we go into the afternoon. Really a nice afternoon other than those breezy conditions that we will see. And here's what we're seeing that tropical storm warning is in effect for all the coastal counties. This is including Beaufort, Hardyville, Savannah, Richmond Hill, Hinesville, and also for Darien. Now today, I do think that some areas right at the immediate coast for the islands could see those winds gusting maybe 35 to 45 miles per hour. Places like Tybee Island, also Hilton Head, and also Saplo Island, eastern parts of McIntosh County. But most of us today will see winds gusting between about 30 and 35 miles per hour. Also, there's a threat for some coastal flooding. There's a flood of advisory from 11 this morning until 5 late this afternoon right there along a Tybee Road Highway 80. You know this if you live on Tybee Island right there at Fort Pulaski, how it so easily can flood and we may see just a little storm surge too with those winds coming in off the northeast this morning. So right around high tide today at just after 2 o'clock may make it up to 10.1 feet around 10 feet is moderate flooding. So the water there along Tybee Road from the Bull River Bridge going out to Tybee may see it either at the road or even cross the road and a few spots, but after about four o'clock today, do expect that flooding uh, that is out there will quickly uh, go away. As we look live, Hardyville, a few cars here on Highway 278, definitely a little wet. Notice a few drops on the lens of the camera as we start things off this morning. Temperature 66, north breeze at 13, a little breezy too there in Hardyville as we start the day. Uh, impacts for us all the way into just about the middle part of the afternoon. That is due to those gusty winds we'll see today, but notice this as we go into the afternoon, just lots of sunshine later today. Temperatures will be into the mid 70s making plans for tomorrow through the weekend. Beautiful fall weather is on the way. You're going to like this 74 on Friday morning lows on Saturday, maybe upper 40s for some inland areas. Definitely that fall feel all weekend long sunshine Saturday and Sunday 78 Saturday afternoon 82 on Sunday and then even next week overall is looking nice mid 80s on Monday out ahead of a cold front that may give us a few showers on Tuesday and then after Monday temperatures really go down below seasonal average low to mid 70s uh, throughout a good part of next week uh, for the islands today impact day could see some tropical storm gusts. There's a tropical storm morning for coastal areas. Temperature 74 this afternoon and then sunshine Friday through the weekend with temperatures mid upper 70s and next week is looking nice. Low 80s there on Monday and low to mid 70s Tuesday and Wednesday. After we get through this morning with just a little more light rain, the next chance for showers will be on Tuesday.